Safi mtazamaji hata kabla sijakuonyesha video Raila pamoja na William Samoruto walionekana sehemu mbili tofauti. Ya kwanza ilikuwa ni uwanja wa Kasarani ambako kulikuwa na Kipkeino riadha nadhani alafu Nyayo Stadium Jumapili kama sijakosea kulikuwa na mechi kati ya Gormahia pamoja na AFC Leopard story ikawa kubwa sana inakwaje kuna kitu ambacho kinaendelea kwa sababu ni kitambo sana tunawaona hawa watu wawili uh, Ruto pamoja na Raila wanakutana wanasalimiana wanatabasamu kama tulivyoona kwenye uh, hizo uh, picha na nini na vitu kama hivyo mtazamaji wangu so Raila amejitokeza kabisa na kujibu wale ambao wanahisi labda kuna kitu ambacho alikizungumza uh, labda behind the scene ambao sisi hatujui kwa hiyo hebu tazama hii video mwanzo mwisho lakini ukimaliza subscribe kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati that's kama hauja subscribe au so bwana let's go sasa iko kwenye lengo la kiwango uh, uh, kiwango ya kuzungumzia na wananchi tulisema hii mswada ita umia itaumiza wa Kenya wengi zaidi manake wakati huu uchumi wa Kenya inaugua wengi wa Kenya wamefukarishwa na hali ya uchumi iliyoko wengi wa Kenya wamekosa kazi na hata na biashara ya katika taifa letu wako na shida mingi zaidi bidhaa ambayo wanaitafuta yani raw materials kutoka nje yao iko juu hali ya ushuru kwa wakati huu tayari iko juu zaidi kwa fanya biashara kwa hiyo tumesema kupandisha ushuru wakati huu ikuongeze mzigo kwa wakenya wengi zaidi tumesema wakenya hawezi kuvumilia tena mzigo zaidi sasa tukahimiza serikali if tuchukue hatua tofauti kuna njia mingi ya kuwa paka paka kama imekuwa paka mwitu inakula vifaranga inaweza kuuliwa unaweza kuchukua kamba uweke kwa shingo unaweza kuweka kisu unaweza kuchukua paka vile vile ukapiga na nyundo vile vile unaweza kuchukua paka ukaweka kwa gunia ukaweka jiwe poleka mtoni uzamishe huko kwa hivyo tumemwambia serikali watafute mbinu ya kuimarisha mapato ya serikali tofauti na kupandisha ushuru na sisi najua inawezekana tulipingia kwenye serikali ya kwanza tukiwa na rais Mwai Kibaki tulitafuta mbinu hali ya uchumi ilikuwa mbaya zaidi kuliko wakati huu lakini tuliweza kutoa serikali kwenye shimo pale lioko tukapandisha mapato ushuru ikatoka bilion 200 ikapanda mpaka bilion 500 ikaenda mwaka ipote bilion 700 tukaenda bilion 900 kisha tukafika trilioni tulijua maneno tuliangalia pale uchumi ilikuwa na vuja pesa ilikuwa na sanyo kutoka kwa wafanyi biashara na kwa wananchi lakini hizo pesa ilikuwa inaingia kwa mfuko ya watu wengine hata wakati huu inafanyika katika history kali ya Kenya kwanza mingi ya ushuru ambayo inasanywa kutoka kwa wananchi haingii kwenye miradi ya serikali inajulikana kwa hivyo badala ya kuumiza wananchi zaidi tumemwambia watafuta mbinu ya kurekebisha uchumi kama hawezi hawezi hao waondoke sisi tumesema namna hiyo mimi nilimwambia hao juzi na narudia tena hapa leo ya kwamba punda ya Kenya imechoka ukizidisha hii mzigo punda itarudisha ita, 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 ita tupa chini 
na wafanye yale ambao wanataka kufanya sisi kama azimio tumesema tunataka wa Kenya wakati huu ya kutafuta maoni yao wajitokeze kwa wengi jamaa wakija karibu na waende watoe maoni yao waambie jamaa ya kwamba sisi tumekataa atukubaliane na nyinyi kwa kupandishwa ushuru kile mahali lakini tumewaonya maneno wamesema ati wapendi wasipende hiyo lugha ambayo tulikusikia wakati ile ya nyayo ati hii mswada itapita katika bunge kama wakithubutu kufanya hivyo sisi kama azimio tuta kwenda pamoja na wakenya na tutaletu wakenya pamoja tutaombia wakenya kwamba wachukue mamlaka mikono yao kulingana na fungu la kwanza ya katiba yetu ambayo imesema ati mamlaka katika jamhuri ya Kenya iko mkononi ya wananchi wa Kenya wananchi wa Kenya wanaweza kutumia hiyo mamlaka moja kwa moja au wanaweza ku uh, viongozi ambao wamechagua hiyo uwezo ya kuwakilisha kwa hayo yote tutafanya na usisemi kwamba hawakuonywa tunawaonya na wajukue hii kama ni onyo kali ya mwisho ya azimio asanteni my name is obuya from citizen um, i have to one on housing one of the main contentious issues in the finance bill um, uh, the chairperson of the budget committee has been quoted saying that uh, Kenyans will be able to get back their money plus interest after seven years. What would be your take on this? Mm -hmm. Two, if you could uh, possibly give us the progress in the bipartisan talks. So what? If you can give us the progress so far uh, in the bipartisan talks that are ongoing. One is um, if I want to invest, I must have a choice where I want to invest. I should not be forced to invest in this venture or this other venture. Uh, and if you're telling me that it is an investment, then you must tell me what kind of interest am I going to get out of it, so that I can make up my mind whether I want to take my money to the financial market, or I want to invest my money, put my money as a deposit in the bank to earn an interest. Uh, but there must be a choice. There must be consultations. Kenyans have not been properly consulted before these measures are, are being introduced. And they're now being introduced and they're being told, irrespective of what you say, these things are going to pass. In other words, the kind of consultation they're talking about is, is, is useless. It's fruitless. Um, the second question you asked is, uh, Yes, yeah, by partisan talks, um, the, we've received a progress report from our team, and they are saying that uh, they have made some progress. Uh, they are going to continue uh, next week. There are issues which are very critical, which we give a deadline of 30 days. That those within 30 days, you must have a solution. This includes the cost of living. The cost of essential commodities like unga, oil, cooking oil, the price of electricity, school fees, and so on. Secondly, the issue of server, the forensic audit of the server, there must be a, a, a solution to it within these remaining days. Um, then the other one is a, a guarantee and assurance that there will be no interference with all Azimio affiliated political parties. Uh, you said that, for example, they must not continue to interfere with the Jubilee political party. Uh, they must give us an undertaking that they will not interfere, for example, the Jubilee's uh, general as assembly or uh, convention, which is scheduled to take place on, t on, on Monday next week, the 22nd. These are some of the issues that we have, we, 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 have, we have raised, okay? All right, uh, my name is Emmanuel Toff from KTN News. Uh, I have two questions. One, the president yesterday cracked the whip at Kemsa. 
Huh? I'm here baba niko hapa. <laughs> I'm here. I'm nachunga camera. So um yesterday the president cracked the whip at uh, Kemsa firing the PS and uh, some members at Kemsa. Do you think uh, what is your take on that? Kemsa. Hmm. Kenya Medical Supplies Authority. What's your comment on that? Is the government committed to fighting corruption? Number two, uh, on Sunday and Saturday we saw you with the president at in Nyandarwa, in Kasarani, and in Nyayo. You had a busy weekend with the president. Does it affect your uh, watchdog, watchdog role as uh, oversighting the government? And are you planning anything? Thank you. First question is uh, The first question is on Kemsa. Kemsa. Now, Kemsa. Kemsa issue, you know, these are all these issues we talked about, issues of corruption. Uh, and um, the, the, the government uh, is actually reacting. They're reacting to a very major issue. I don't think that this is the, the only scandal that they have uh, in, in, in Kemsa. I think within a short period of time, you are going to be seeing hemorrhage uh, in this government. But then, you see, you have a, a government should be run as a government. You have ministers who are, are charged with these responsibilities. Why are we not seeing ministers? Why is the president the one coming up with the key policy issues in respective ministries? The other day, the president was talking about student loans with the permanent secretary and there was no minister. And that is in the State House. A major uh, uh, policy st statement on education should come from Minister of Education in his ministry. If there's a scandal in Kempsa, there should be Minister for Health, Minister for Health. Or if there's a permanent secretary for health, he said medical services. This other one here is just PS for uh, uh, for public health. So, uh, we, we, it raises more questions than it, it answers what the so called surgery in the ministry. Okay? Um, the other one is uh, the, we, 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 were, we were in Nyandarwa. We went there, Jamini village, for the funeral of uh, Hayati Field Marshal. Mama, uh, Mukami Kimathi. And we, just, we met there with, with the, Mr. Ruto and uh, his deputy and his uh, uh, ministers. And uh, of course we shook hands there. It was a chance meeting. We did not plan to meet there. But they said it was a state funeral uh, and, and we said we must go. But there had been uh, some threats issued by some supporters of Kenya Kwanza. But he said, no, we will go because of our relationship with the, the disease, uh, as, as, as it turned out. Now, they said it was a state funeral. There was, the flags were not flown at half mast. Neither was she given a 21 guns, uh, gun send off as is required, uh, which was very unfortunate indeed. But from there, I had been invited to Kipchoge Keino Athletics uh, Tournament, um, which was taking place at uh, Kasarani. Um, and Mr. Ruto also uh, was coming there. We didn't know that he was coming. He didn't also know that I was going. We just met there uh, as a chance at, at Kasarani. And we watched the, 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 the tournament together. We did not invite each other. The, the following day, there was Mashameji Derby at the General Stadium. And I was going there because I'm the patron of Gorma here, Kogalo. And was, as we were coming around Madaraka Estate, there was a, a traffic jam. Then I asked, why is the jam today on a Sunday? I told, oh, you know, the, the, the roads have been closed because the president is coming to, going to the stadium. That's when I knew that Mr. Ruto was going to, to the stadium. And we met there again in the stadium. And um, we watched the match together. 
in the half time, we went down to the, the launch, there's only one launch. We could, and then we met there, and the pictures were taken. But we did not talk anything other than football. <laughs> and there was no handshake. And I want to say this for empty time. Mr. Gachagua, understand, we do not want any handshake with the Kenya Kwanza. You have not asked for it, we don't want it. And we will not go for it. I think that's enough. Thank you very much. Thank you.